Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, where today, as you probably read in the title, um, we're going to be talking about what my, what, how I got the interest in all this type of things, and these tractors, and farming, and technical stuff, and many different things, so let's start from the beginning and work my way up. Alright, so right here we got a little picture of, like, I don't know, three, two, three-year-old me. Right there on a John Deere 110 that is converted to like a 4020 or something. This is 2011, um, the year that the St. Joe Valley Old Engine Association Tractor Show in Jones, Michigan was doing their Alice year. And ever since I was a little kid... Ever since I was a little kid, I was always interested in tractors. Well, um, my dad was always, my dad grew up on a farm. They, he had very rude parents, but anyways. Um, so basically, he kind of just, um, basically, um, he he always used to be fascinated with tractors. Now, I've always been fascinated with tractors because of how cool they sound and how big they are and all the stuff they do and what they can do and how just the way of how it works. Now, the way that I got into um look what what first started it was me going to these tractor shows ever since I was born, basically. Every year in August, um, the first, um, week of August, the, like, the 7th, 8th, and 9th, from Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday used to be, is always been the, um, uh, tractor show in Jones, where I always like to go. Well, basically, it just started there, and then my fascination with, um, collecting tractors started with... When I first got my John Deere 140, which is the one that came with that manual that my dad bought, which is, if you saw in my tour or any of my other videos, I have my 140 that sits like this, and then there's the two of them that sit like this. Well, the one back here is the first one that we bought, and then we bought mine up here, and then we bought, um, I think it was the one that's in the lean-to, and then we bought the last one, which was the one in the middle of those two in the barn. Well... That basically, uh, sit down here in my creaky bed, but that basically started my liking for tractors. My dad, ever since I can remember, he had his Farmall 100, which I've talked about in a couple other videos, but that will be an episode coming up this summer. It just need we need to get the lights on it so it quit shorting out and blowing the condenser and the points or whatever. But anyways, yeah, I've always loved riding around in his tractor i started driving it at like five years old maybe seven when i could push in the clutch and put it in gear and take off nice and easily now back to the thing that my dad um always um back when my dad was uh, a kid he always his grandpa my grandpa weiler and uh um Grandpa Burl always, his, his grandpa's always had, um, uh, farm alls, and the tractors that they had were, like, farm alls, uh, M's and H's. Now, um, Grandpa Weiler always used to hop off those tractors, go in, eat lunch, take a nap for an hour, and my dad would go out and play on the tractors. Well, when he would play on the tractors, they would be so hot. From him running it from 7 in the morning all the way till lunchtime, which is noon. Um, they would be so hot, the seat would be hot. And you would hop up there and you couldn't hardly touch the steering wheel. It was so hot. And that's mostly from basically him um, just uh, scratches. But that's basically just him running the tractor all day long, not shutting it off. He, he would... Sometimes at lunchtime, he, he couldn't, when he would drive the tractor back home, he would 
run out of gas halfway there, and then he would have to walk there, then walk back, put the gas in the tractor, and then drive it the rest of the way home, which could be a long ways, depending on how far the field is. But, um, just like any other things that I'm fascinated with, I really love how the engineers made carburetors and how they ever worked. I mean, they were just cool and I've always been fascinated with carbureted machines and anything that had to do with that. And basically, um, the, the other things that why I got fascinated with tractors and collecting and all this and that is because, well, my dad always did it. My dad collected random things when he was a kid. He collected records. He had a KISS, which is, this is not KISS, this is Metallica. But anyways, um, he had a KISS diamond, diamond back album, which was his pride and joy, and his mother smashed every single record that he had. And that diamond uh, back record is worth, I don't know, $20,000 right now, I think, or something. I don't know. I'm just throwing a number out there, but I'll put a little thing of how much they're worth. But, yeah, but anyways, that that basically fascinated me. And another thing is, as you've probably seen in my other videos, I love knives. Knives are another fascination of mine. My dad collected, my dad started collecting guns a couple of years ago. Um, basically, when we, uh, he just slowly started acquiring guns over the years, and after he acquired a couple guns, he just started collecting more of them. And after my, my uh, grandpa Russ passed away, he collected, he gathered a whole bunch more guns from him. So it's basically just whatever you get thrown at you, you will accept those changes and you will pull them in and grab them and reward yourself with something. So that's what people do is in their passing they will give somebody a reward for their passing I guess that's why you have a will that you put stuff in now not to be rude to anybody but that's just my thinking is if somebody passes away in their passing to memorize them you get whatever they have like guns or tractors which we were supposed to get but my dad had a screwed up rude family, so my step-grandma, you could call it Vicky, sold the good tractor that ran and we wanted, but now there's other tractors there that don't have carburetors and there's holes in the radiators and the tires are flat and they're missing the starters or whatever because they just pulled apart off of one tractor, threw it on that tractor because they were all interchangeable. The H's and M's were. You could change any part on those tractors. You could take a piston out of one, put it back in the other, and you could hit the road. But it's just back to the fascination of why I love farming and tractors and other things is the other thing is is that I grew up with my dad wanting to have a garden and other things. And then we moved out here to this house and I've always loved the fascination of big tractors and how everything works. And I wanted to learn how things work. And I've always wanted to learn how combines work. So I found the Millennial Farmer, which I'll put a picture and a link up there for his channel. And, the, and like Stony Ridge Farms, I'll put a link up there. I'll put um, how farms work. I'll put just a few acres farms. I'll put... All the channels that I love and I enjoy their farming, Walker Farms, there's another one. I'll put all of them up there because they have cool tractors that, it, it's it, in my wildest dreams, I would love to have what they do to just go and meet every single one of them. And one day I meet the Millennium Farmer, the next day I go to Walker Farms, the next day I go to Manly Farms, the next day I go to... How Farms Works Farms. Then I go to Just a Few Acres Farms Farm. I mean, it just doesn't matter. I would love to meet these people. Oh, the Oliver guy. He's he's He tells every story about an Oliver that you could ever want. 
because his family used to own a loosely dealership in White Pigeon, I think, or Eaton Rapids. Yeah, Eaton Rapids. They they lived there and they had a dealer, uh, Oliver dealership, and they have all he has all kinds of Oliver tractors and everything. But there, there's just ever since I figured out YouTube and I figured out what I want to do and. Ever since I figured out that, oh, you can choose your own channels and you can subscribe to them and all this, I've just got a fascination with everybody. Now, if it was my choice, I would love to do it. If it was, if it wasn't my choice, I would, I would still love to do what my, what my dad does, which is uh, fencing. If I, if, if this world was easier and it was nicer to people. I would love to do what my dad does and be a farmer at the same time. That would be just great, but that would be too much for me to handle and for anybody to handle if you put that at that matter. But I would just love, hopefully this summer, I can go to a couple farms around me and meet some of the people that I've never met before and talk to them and ask them some things that I would just love to wonder and video them and tell and ask them like how do you run your farm how do you how do you feed the cattle how do you clean their pens how do you do this and that just any different things and hopefully that'll be a future video for me and help help me grow because i'm figuring out different things and just finding out what you guys like on on in the youtube world and finding different things that i would like to do for you guys but, um, there's pictures of things, and here, let me show you guys this. I got this for my birthday, a John Deere belt. Um, there's a guy named Alan Wolf. He has a TikTok and a YouTube channel and Instagram, Facebook. He's on all those platforms. He is cool. He has taught me a couple things that I didn't even know, like hydro creep. I never knew what the heck that was, but I figured out how to. He told me how to fix how to fix the hydro creep. He told me to where it was located at, and many different things. And the hydro creep is where your tractor is creeping forward without the lever moved, or you on the tractor. It just keeps rolling. So, there's different things, um, there's, uh, Squatch253, he, he's a Caterpillar guy, I'll put a link to his video in the description, um, there's just so many people that are so much, have so much education that you, that they can tell you what to look for, to buy a tractor, to buy a crawler, to whatever, they, they will tell you what, to do and I've got way off topic but that's just how my brain works I can't here let me show you guys this let me grab something hmm. Hmm, here we go. I know this is a weird book but around the world in 80 days I can't sit and read this book for 10 minutes without getting bored but I can go and read 30 different articles about different things and be educated and be happy about it. Or a book, all you're learning is nothing. All you're learning is what the book is about. Where I want to get knowledge that I could use in the future for educational purposes, for people to go and use in the world, for people to get the knowledge out there. Like what I did with the uh, carburetor videos in the... Uh, and the, just the carburetor videos, the knife videos of how I do a little cleanup like this knife, of what it looked like before to what it is now, um, just many different things, and I have a trumpet, which I can play, but I don't play it well, but I picked up on it, and I learned how to play a little bit of it, so I've given up on it because I don't play it that well, but I could still pick it up again and start playing. I'm fascinated in old war stuff like this. This is really cool. I usually carry this at work. I'm hopefully going to start to again. It, 
It's got the little tiny thing in the bottom of it, but that's a really cool water bottle. My dad got me this for my birthday. I love this. It's really cool. But I just have a ton of fascination with things. Like, I was... I love records. I love how they work. They are so cool. Cameras. I love taking pictures. And you've seen some of my pictures that I've taken. If you follow me on Facebook. If you if you looked at my Facebook or my TikToks. My dirty ass closet. Sorry for swearing. And excuse my French. Even though I'm 13. Uh, whatever. Um, yes, I do have animals because who cares peanuts but yes i do have animals this my bed spread it's a messy mess but this is basically like a room tour don't mind that i those are the only curtains i have and they're going in my room this is they're staying there they're good enough they keep the room warm my tripod and this goes up and down and these go in and out these legs and all of that got clothes on the floor. Need to put in carpet here, but whatever. But yeah, that I guess that'll be the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I just need a little filler video for you guys because why not? So uh, God bless and uh, have a great one. And hit that notification bell. Don't forget that and subscribe. God bless. Bye.